Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on Crack Concepts. Today we'll discuss data frames in detail. So first I'll explain in short what, what is data frame and then we will dive into practical examples, a lot of examples and we will also discuss uh, many important functions related to data frame. So stay tuned till the end. So what are data frames? So data frame is a two dimensional mutable data structure used to save the data in the form of rows and columns. So in short data frame is a table which, is, uh, which has rows and columns and you can put values in it. It is a data structure in Python. So yeah, it is an object of pandas. Uh, so you can find it in, uh, in pandas library. So yeah, and it consists of three principal components, data, rows, and columns. So that is what a data frame is, a table which has rows and columns and values, and it is a data structure in Pandas library. And why do we use data frames? So data frames are mainly used for data analysis purpose. As we all know, Python is widely used for data analysis purpose. And yes, in data science field and all. So yeah, we also have data frame in R and other uh, programming languages. And Pandas library provides us with many different useful functions using which we can perform data analysis. And we will see all these different uh, different uh, functions in, in this video. Uh, and yeah, let's just dive into the practical practical session of data frames now first of all we have to import the pandas library okay the uh, library is imported now we will create the data frame here by using python dictionary simple way now i'll give the name now here we can uh, we just have to uh, make sure that uh, whenever we are creating the dictionary or uh, the keys in the dictionary will be the columns in the data frame and values will be the rows of the data frame so here name is column and the value which i give here will be created the rows so value i'm going to here is uh, written in here this is why the very first will be um, city city will be the another column and first will be Pune. So this is my uh, data. I'll name it as data. Now uh, to create data frame, we must uh, we first have to give the name of the data frame. I'm going um, give, I'm going to give the name as DF. You can put uh, give any name. So in the syntax to create data frame is PD dot as we have imported pandas as PD. Yes, PD dot data frame and I um, and here we have to pass the name of the dictionary we have created such so as data so here we have created our data frame and if I print data frame yeah so here we can see that we have, we have got the test table uh, having name uh, having column name and city and these are uh, my rows by Bhavi Puri, Rohit Mumbai and Sumit Sampa. This is the row. So this is how we can create the data frame. Okay. And I am printing here df1. So yeah, this is our table. This is our data frame we have created. Now we will uh, perform the operations on it. First we will see the shape of the data. df1. df1 shape. So we can see that the shape of our data is 9 comma 4. The df1 dot shape, the shape function gives us the size of our data which is rows and columns. Here we can see that we have 9 rows and 4 columns in the data, in the table. So here we can see that the shape of our table is 9 comma 4. Similarly, we can find size of the table. 36. Uh, size function gives us the total number of entries in our table as we have nine col uh, nine rows and four columns nine into four we have 36 entries in our or 36 values in our table total values now we have df dot uh, shape uh, data type data type data type means data type df one dot data type df one dot data type here name data type of our first column is object second column is also object Third column, if we see here, mark, mark, if we see integer, uh, integer 64. So this is a integer by type, 64 bit integer type. And gender is again object data type. So this uh, this is how we can uh, we can see we can find the data types of a column. So column here. 
so here we can get the column name name class marks gender which we are having in our table now the another one function we are going to take is ef.info uh, in this function we can say uh, we can see that here we have the column name cd column name we are getting non null uh, non null means uh, how many null values we are have in our data set so there is no null values uh, there are no null values in our data set df1 if i say sorry df dot info we have name class mark gender and uh, there are nine uh, nine non null values so there is there are no null values so let's see we have, we'll make one value null if i put it here null if I'm putting here null, uh, null value here and here none value. If I save this data frame again, then we can see here we have in this two place we have null value here. So we have one dot shape. There is no effect on shape as we have uh, nine rows, four, co four columns. Size also we are getting the same. Data types also we are getting the same. Data type has uh, now changed, which is float 64 df on the columns columns with no change in columns but now now if we see in this table we have seven non null values it means we have two null values so df dot values is there so, uh, we can uh, we have this another function so df dot values we can get the only the values as we have see here df dot column we have the column name and df dot values that means we have, will have we'll get what is the date actual data in it we don't we will not have any heading we just have values in, it. in the form of list here not in the form of table it's in the form of list of list then we have df now we'll see the max and main operation df dot max this function gives the maximum value in our data set so if we see this data set uh, or data frame, we can see that uh, uh, anything, data frame or data set. If we see this data set, then the maximum value we have is this. So uh, the name is Vera, the class is second, marks are 100, and the gender is male. So, okay, I have done this one, df1, I have one to df1.mix. So uh, if we see the df1.mix, uh, we have uh, got this record. Sorry, we got this record which is df1 dot max. Then similarly we can get df1 dot minimum record. This is the minimum record we have in our data set. If we see here, we have minimum value here and we are getting this record. So if we want particular uh, minimum value of the column then how we can find it so the minimum marks in the in our uh, marks column is 60 similarly we can find it for df1 marks dot max so maximum marks is 100 conditional uh, query so if i want to find the uh, the record having name equals to Arjun, then how I can find it here? DF, sorry, DF1, the name of our data frame is DF1, DF1 dot name equals to equals to Arjun. So, yeah, this is how we can find the data. If, we, if I want the name column, then I can give the name of the column. Here we can get the column as we want. Here we can df1 of df1 dot marks equal to equal to df1 dot so df1 dot marks. So here we will get the result of uh, so having maximum marks. Similarly, we can fetch the results for the record having minimum marks or we can fetch all the records having gender equals to male. So for that we can we have to write as df1 which is the name of our data frame df1.gender equals to male. So this is how we can find the 
gender equal to equal to male make sure you have right spelling male a uh, small letter capital letter if we write the m is for uh, small then it will give us the error so yeah here we are here we, i have got all the records having gender equals to male so like this we can use uh, the conditional statement uh, in data frame and uh, like this we can analyze our data by using this pandas library so the next topic is indexing so we can do the indexing df dot sorry df1 dot get the let's say first index so here we can get that mm, if i print df1 here we can see that at id1 we have this record samira class is second marks is 80 and uh, gender is female so we can fetch the record by using location uh, this is the index function we are used we used in data so another is uh, we can also fetch the record df dot lock df of gender equals to equals to male uh, as the same query and okay I just have to put this df one okay so this is how we can page all the records having uh, the gender is made by using location function locate we can locate the uh, function now here we can see that we have this id here to uh, 0 2 3 4 8 if we want to reset this index we just have to put the uh, dot reset index and we have to drop the original indexing so drop is equals to true now uh, we can see that uh, we are having 0 1 2 3 4 text indexing so we have reset the indexing so another one is uh, we have ilog function df dot ilog so df1 dot ilog by using this function we can fetch the index record like uh, if i put here df dot ilog2 i can get the uh, second record here we can see that 0 1 2 rohit third uh, rohit class is third uh, marks is 95 and gender is me so here we can also put as i log you can put the range of index if i want let's say second index fourth and sixth record so i can also face this records also which is two four six similarly uh, df dot i log two two five if i want all the records from index two to five then i can Okay, it's in df1. df1, so I can get the 2, 3, 4. If I put here 2, 2, 8, I can get all the records from index 2 to index 7. So this is how index uh, indexing works in pandas or in data frame. So now we'll see the drop. How to drop a table. How to drop table or the columns also. First of all, I will print the data frame of uh, we are having. This is the data frame we are having. And suppose if I want to drop this column class, then how I can I will drop it? df one dot drop. Now I have to give you a name of the column which we have to drop, and then I will put the access. This is the main part. Uh, this is the uh, the main part where in the drop uh, drop function uh, the access. If we give access equals to zero, then it will find the record to delete in, in the rows. Uh, in row wise, it will find in rows. And if we give the access equals to one, then it will find the uh, class object in column wise. It will uh, it will say whether uh, this name has column or name is there or not, class is there or not, marks is there or not in the column section. So if I want to uh, delete the, the class column, so I will put access equals to one. And now if we see that the class uh, column is deleted from our table. 